Some things about one of the most important bands of symphonic metal or, or female fronted metal and speak about Nightwish from Finland. First of all, let's say that I'm not so connected with the genre of uh, symphonic metal, even, even less of, uh, with the genre of uh, the so-called genre of uh, female fronted metal that I think that is uh, not a real genre. Why? Because uh, you can, in, there's a genre with so many kinds of, uh, uh, of bands inside that they don't have a, a really musical connection between them. For example, also, Arch Enemy, they are female from the metal band, but they play something like a, a melodic death metal style. From the other hand, we have bands, for example, as the Third and the Mortal from Norway, or Theater of Tragedy, they played a style of, um, let's say, symphonic gothic uh, uh, metal with some black metal elements, death metal elements. We, we have also, for example, Holy Moses, a thrust German band, also with a, a singer, with a female singer, Sabrina, and so on and so on. We can put in the same uh, category, for example, Holy Moses together with Battle Beast, or together with Nightwings, or After Forever, and so on, or Benediction. There, there's a really death metal band from England. Rachel, uh, she was a singer for uh, for a period, and so on and so on and so on. It's a little bit difficult uh, to put uh, inside uh, female fronted metal so many bands from so many cate categories. Okay, but in any case, here today we will speak about uh, Nightwish. Nightwish they started as a band in 1996. And the masterminds of the band, first of all, the real mastermind is Thomas Holopainen, if I read his name right. Uh, he's also the keyboardist and uh, the mastermind of the band. Together, uh, he, there we have also Empu, Empu Vuorinen, the guitarist of the band. He continues on key today. In the first days of the band, they had also the, the first most original uh, uh, singer Tarza Turunen. She came to the band without a, a metal uh, past, only operatical past. And Sami Vanska, he was the, the, the bassist of the band until 2001. Now, afterwards, uh, they started with, uh, with their first album in 1997. Uh, Angels fall first, and uh, we have the first period of the band until Wishmaster. In this period, we can see that uh, Nightwish they have many power metal influences in their music. In the first album, even they had also ambient folk uh, influences. After Wishmaster, uh, we have a problem inside the band. The first uh, big problem inside the band. Uh, that started uh, between Thomas and Empu from one from one hand. On the other hand, uh, they had problem the band to, with the bassist Sami Vanska until Sami Vanska left the band in 2001, and in his place came the bassist uh, Marco Hiatala, and he continues until today. Uh, he was also the mastermind of the Finnish heavy power metal band Tarot. Okay. And the second period is, is the, the, the second period of success, of the big success of the band with albums of as a Century Child and Once. But then we have the second problem inside the band, the problem that started between Tarza and uh, her husband, her Argentinian husband and manager, and the other members of the band and after after the album once in 2005 uh, unfortunately Tarza left the band left the band they throw her out from the band okay and from then 
Nightwish they started to be even in big in, in, even in bigger uh, problems. Uh, first of all, we have a, we had the hiatus of the band in these years for some for for a, a lead period. They tried to find another singer, and in 2007 they brought Annette Olson, a Swedish singer from the band Allison Avenue. She had even more rock uh, past, less metal past. Together with her, they made two albums, Dark Passion Play and Imaginarium. But unfortunately, uh, most of the followers of the band, they did like uh, Olson, Annette Olson, and also she made uh, some uh, not good performances in the live uh, concerts. Uh, she became ill, she became pregnant, and the whole thing, it was even more difficult. And unfortunately, they throw her out from the band in 2012. Unfortunately, and with not so a good way, for me, for example, I like Annette Olson. I like her work in these two albums, and I think that is, uh, it was not so fair the whole thing uh, about her because she became the singer of the band in a so critical period after Tarza left the band uh, and it was very difficult for her and they made a very big pressure to her unfortunately because she was not a, a really bad singer and now at last we have the, the third big period of the band when Flor Jensen the singer of Revamp and After Forever, the ex-singer of After Forever, he, he came to the band in 2013. Uh, in this period also they brought to the band and Troy uh, Dono Clay, if I read his name right. And they continue with uh, Floor Jensen until now. Together with Floor, they made another two albums. And let's say that most of the followers of, of Nightwish, they like Floor, even, okay, no, maybe not like Tarza, but they know that Tarza will not, uh, she will not come back. Okay, now, I will try here to make, uh, a, to run it, to make a video to run, to run their albums, their studio albums, their nine studio albums from worst to best. Uh, together with these nine albums, they made also some EPs, so three EPs and many singles. Here I have also an EP of 2001, uh, Over the Hills and Far Away. Okay, they made a cover uh, of the song of uh, Gary Moore here. After also this EP, they started the first problems inside the band. But here I will speak about their studio albums. So, let's start. In the ninth place, the last place, for me comes their ninth album of 2020. Their last album of this year. And I'm speaking about human nature. For me, this is the worst Nightwish album ever. Why? Because this album is even more symphonic and even less metal. Let's say that maybe it has some some rock character, some uh, rock characteristics here and there, but most of the album is simply symphonic music. Okay, I, we know that Nightwish, the new Nightwish after Dark Passion Play, they became even more symphonic but they were symphonic metal. But here, this is not even symphonic metal. This is only symphonic with some rock characteristics. R, for Sun, three. And for me, until now, this is the worst album of the whole 2020. Okay? A, for Sun, three. Now, in the eighth place, 
their first debut album of 1997, and I'm speaking about the album Angels Fall First. This was to be the second demo of the band, and at last it became the first album of the band. Okay, here this is not this is not a bad a bad album, but this is not an album of Nightwish like we know them. Okay. Here we can listen even more ambient and folk influences in their music. In the seventh place, here maybe some people who will not agree with me will come the fourth album of them of 2002, and I'm speaking about Century Child. I know this album. Is a very successful album of Nightwish, and many people that they like Nightwish, they like this album. Also, many followers of the band became followers because of this album. I know all, all of this, but personally, uh, this album doesn't speak to me. Why? Maybe here because they became a little bit even more gothic. In their influences, I don't have problem with gothic rock and gothic music and gothic metal, but for Nightwish, I didn't think that this is so. Uh, this, this, I I didn't think that that it is uh, so uh, good for them. Okay, but this is my personal personal review. Now in the sixth place, their sixth also album. A very special album of 2007, and I'm speaking about Dark Passion Play. This album came after the whole problem with Tarza, the first album with Annette Olson in the vocals, and it's a very sympathetic album, very even more symphonical, the whole symphonic metal, but very sympathetic, and I liked it. When it came out, I liked it a lot. But even more, I liked the album that came afterwards. So in the fifth place, the seventh album of 2011, also with uh, Olson, the last album with Annette Olson, and I'm speaking about Imaginarium. Imaginarium, some people they say that when they wrote Dark Passion Play, it was uh, Thomas when, when he wrote this album and he thought that it is a, an album that Tarza it will be the singer. But uh, Imaginarium is even more um, good for the voice of Annette Olson. I liked it also a lot. Also symphonic metal album. Now in the fourth place. Their eighth album of 2015, the first album with Floor Johnson as a singer. And I'm speaking about the album Endless Forms Most Beautiful. Okay, with this also, uh, <laughs> with also this uh, uh, long title. But, but here we can listen also even more symphonic metal, but symphonic metal, metal. Great album, long album, but great, great, great album. Even more uh, good from uh, Endless, uh, from Dark Passion Play, and from Imaginarium. Now, the three uh, albums that will come here for me, they are even the more favorite albums of the band. So. In the third place, their third also album of 2000, in the beginning of the millennium, and I'm speaking about Wish Master. Wish Master maybe is the is the album of Nightwish that here we can listen the power metal influences even more from any other album of them. Great album, great great album. Uh, it was in the year that uh, uh, we were married with my wife, and 
together we listen this album uh, many times great 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 album now uh, I did know what I will what I will put in the first in the second or in the first place but at last I decided that in the second place for me comes their fifth album of 2004 and I'm speaking about the album once and let's be realistic and fair this is the greatest work of Nightwist the greatest album of them the most famous album of them yes this is it and if someone does don't know Nightwish and he wants to know what is Nightwish I prefer to say to him let's go and find first of all and listen to this album great album great 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 album unfortunately it was the last album with Tarza great album with so great songs wish I had an angel became so famous this song also the song Nemo it was also in the year that uh, the film Nemo came out it's not a, it's not a connection between the film and between the song okay great 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 album great album but but in the first place for me comes their second album of two of 1998 Osea Born and I, I put it here for many reasons first of all this is the first album of Nightwish that I listen and if you listen an, a, a band uh, and you you know them from this album this album even is even more uh, closer to your close to your heart let's be realistic and okay but not only that in this album we can find power metal influences we can find folk influences here is also the great instrumental song moon dance but not only and for this reason for me this album uh, it will be in the first place even more a little bit more from once even that i know that once is the most uh, famous album of them so from Israel and from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy.